Oh, look at that. What are you doing? Why are you besieging? It's my own place. Why are you besieging my own place? That's weird. Yeah, so let's just unite them all in Aveiro. And then we'll go over there. Hopefully these guys will go over there. I, I truly do not understand why they are the way they are. Let's see. Logistician Forder. Uh, I will go with Forder because we are crossing a river. Oh, owner is one year in debt. I did not know that. I did not know that the, my enemies were in debt. That is incredible. Yeah, so uh, our money has been used thoroughly and nicely. And now we're at war with plus seven. Owner is in debt minus ten. Yeah, that you just there's no chance there. Quick to anger, Manuel. He has become raffle. That is a problem. He just has all the bad traits. Well, they're red anyway. Raffle adds to martial. The minus intrigue, which doesn't matter. Diplomacy, natural dread. You know what? That is really nice. It's pretty good. And also, I can't I can't handle the stress. Uh, and I think I have somebody to. I have a lot of people. Oh, yeah, because we uh, did another siege. Uh, so I'll just... Oh, they don't have any money. I'll pay... They'll pay me later, I suppose. As in, I'm not giving them the... The the people right now. So I took their... No, that's not the capital. It's the capital of somebody, but just not that. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going. These guys are doing their thing. That's good. As soon as this war is done, or this battle is done, we're still at 29% on the battles one. So, it goes from 82 to 90. And uh, Leonard the Draw has died. Who are you? A knight. I know what to do. Get more knights. Couple more knights can't help, uh, can't uh, hurt. So, Placencia. Yep, let's go there. Hopefully that. So I'm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're gonna be fast enough here, or even have enough people to. To do the thing. Maybe I should go down there and help out. Because I also don't know where they're going. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine here. Split into in twain, and they're going back up there. So they didn't, they didn't actually run too far away, and I'm about to besiege that everything went according to plan. I have... I don't even have important people, um, but I can't ransom. These guys don't, don't have any money. That's, that's what's going on. Let's uh, enforce the demands, disband all my army, and low control in Porto, which is normal because of everything being bad. Uh, actually, I need to wait a little for low control to take place. There it is. doesn't show immediately. It just says if I can find found a holy order. A holy order of your faith will be founded. You become the Order's Patron. I get uh, good things. Pope, uh, The Pope likes me. The fervor increases. You hold a kingdom or an empire is what it requires. Oh, what? Because I have... Oh, because I won... Oh, that is amazing. So the Holy Order could be Santiago. Benta Betanzos. Or Guimarães. That would be cool. In Guimarães. Uh, but let, let's keep it up there. And my, it, it's great. Spent all my crosses. Catholic Holy Order founded. With your support, Grandmaster Maurong has uh, founded the Knights Hospitaller. And uh, it's pretty good. So that's what you need to do. And perhaps that's why you shouldn't ask for your head of faith for gold all the time. Because you don't get enough crosses. Although that worked out relatively well. So I have Porto now, which is pretty good. And I would like to keep Porto, but the problem here is this. We will lose the Duchy of Portugal. Unless we want. It looks like Manuel... Yeah, it looks like I'll, I'll give it all to Manuel. Which is good. Uh, so that might mean that we want to just keep going with buildings. 
Supply limit increased. The supply limit goes up a little bit more, actually. Interesting. Let's build. So, that's quite nice. Navarra seems to be under siege. What's going on? Oh. Duke Guillermo is, in is conquering all that stuff. Are you really? All right, dude. It's, uh... Yeah. That is happening. You can do that? I mean, you can. Go for it. Go for it. And I can take all of your stuff because you're a known criminal, so I can just imprison you. Let's keep track as well of... Uh, so I'm... Yeah, I'm doing good things in general. I don't have the... That thing anymore. Oh, I think... Yeah, convince the jure territory. Basically, what that means is if you have a de jure claim to a country or to a place, you can use that to soften the people, I suppose. I'm not 100% sure if that's how it works, but I think that's how it works. I still have tremendous amounts of crowns, uh, which is good, uh, because I might be able to declare war against those guys soon. Uh, I just spent so much money on mercenaries, which was fine, because, I mean, that's what the money is for. Yeah, I be it's because we otherwise wouldn't be we wouldn't be there. Uh, and I also want... Yeah, so we're not organizing the army. And we have another decision available to hold the court. My lord, my steward, Redwall speaks up. I propose a cadastral survey of all the counties you own. That is really good. And it was only done in Portugal in the 13th century, the first time that we know, anyway. Improved knowledge and mapping of your land will certainly increase its proper... Oh, is that not what I... I thought it was like a census thing. It is not a census thing. What do we get? We lose money. But... Uh, starts working on a cadastral survey. It will take several months to be completed. Yeah, let's go with that. A thin, raggedy peasant stands before me, gawking at the opulence of my throne room. Obviously distracted, I call him to get his attention. Oh, I'm sorry, my lord. I'm, um, my village in Porto was hit by a blight this year. We lost not only our crops, but our seed too. We have nothing. We shall starve without help. Glancing around my throne room again, he, he asked, he had, surely you have wealth to spare? Uh, I do. I do have wealth to spare. I'm not sure. You'll have the funds you need to rebuild. And I gain grand, grand courtier. Grandeur. Free labor. Oh, I see. It's weird. Because we get pleased peasants over here, plus 25, which doesn't actually matter too much. Oh, I see. Building construction costs. Minus 25. In Porto? Yeah. That's nice. Because we're building things there. But court grandeur is nice as well. I think, yeah. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to look over here at what you're doing. And we're going to cancel that. And now what that does... Is we go over here, and your service will repay your debt. And that means... I have cheaper buildings now. Indeed. A modicum of a difference, but a difference nonetheless. And that matters. Especially because I don't have money now. Um, anyway, continue. Moving on with that. What do we have? My courtier Othello shows me a page filled with unfamiliar symbols, insisting on its legibility. I have developed a written language specifically for the women of the court, since the letters are mostly taught to men. If you allow it, I will begin teaching the ladies at once. We can make better use of your talents. Or, what a great idea. Is this actually a historical thing? I imagine it would be, but... Language of women. Specifically for women. That is... I've never heard of this. I don't... I, I imagine it would be struck off from the annals of history either way. But um, Language of Women gives me this character. All female courtiers gain diplomacy and learning. That's what that is. And uh, I gain invented code, which is scheme sec secrecy. And she doesn't like it as much. Yeah, let's go with that. Teach them the normal letters instead. It's probably better. Anyway, there it is. The Consecration of Vilalba. Oh, the temple is done. It's brilliant. Archbishop Duran excitedly enters your halls. My lord, I bring word of the completion of Vilalba's new church. The faithful of Coruña may now honor God in a place worthy of its dignity. 
or his dignity. Lowercase h as well. Um, yeah, uh, we get a lot of crosses. Catholic fervor increased, and temple founded. It's pretty good. And it is there. The town's was right there. Uh, and we're still at 5 out of 5. Wait a minute. Are we at 5 out of 5? That doesn't count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Look at that. I have 6 things, but it says 5. Temples don't count. Is that what that is? It wouldn't make sense, because temples are done by uh, by somebody else. And apparently I can sponsor people, which is pretty nice. But now, the thing is... The thing is, what I wanted to check... Oh! It's this. Right. Right. Vilava. So, Batanz is a different thing. That's just the, uh, the thing. So, we bought, built this for f cheap. Yeah, I wanted to check if I had to b construct new buildings. I do not. Uh, our Archbishop will make things. That's pretty good. This is really good. We're in a really good position. I can now... Yeah, sponsor Luis da Davalos. Oh yeah, but before I do that, what I wanted to do is I wanted to change these counties. County of Porto. But it's the... The Duchy. Portucale. There it is. So it changes based on the, the who owns it. Galicia. We're actually going to change it to Portuguese here. Uh, I believe Galicia is written like this in Gal uh, Galego. But such is life. Sorry, Galiza. You're being called that. Uh, Asturias. Actually, I should change Asturias as well. Oh, I can change it from here. Maybe I could have done that before. Yeah, I'm just adding a few things. But what I'm uh, actually worried about... Uh, so we got Portucali over here. Oh, that's a kingdom. Yeah, yeah, because that's ours. Right. Uh, and then realms. Now, what I want to do as well is I want to change Coruña over here. Because it doesn't have a tilde there, but it has one over there. That doesn't... That's wrong. It's just bad. A Coruña, you see that? It's not written like that. Wait. Sure, sure, sure. But the city itself. Oh, I need to change it down here. Right, right. I, who wrote this? It Like, that's not how anything works. It, and it is kind of weird. It is kind of weird the way it's written, but whatever. It, yeah. I don't know Batanzos. I've never been up there. I mean, I have been to Santiago. And to Coruña. Um, I actually thought they were the same thing. In the same region. But, yeah. Um, I've been up here, but I don't know the cities. Of the towns and stuff. Tui and uh, other things. Yeah, Monterrey. Everything is fine. <sighs> Alright. And Braganza, by the way. It's written properly here, but not here. Which is weird. Nope, that's not the Sedil. Where's my Sedil? There it is. Braganzano. Thank you very much. Actually, Bergansana. It would be for feminine. Portuguese doesn't have a neuter. Well, actually, there's... There is a... You can con conjugate. In Portuguese, uh, we have gendered uh, everything. But, uh, so, Bragança is feminine. Uh, and Bragansano is uh, masculine. But you say Bragansana for feminine. That would be the adjective. Uh, but the thing is... No, actually, Bragança, is, I say it's feminine. But that's that's what I was saying. Portuguese has a neuter version. Uh, like, for example, Portugal is um, roughly considered masculine, the ter the verb or the na the noun, but you don't call, you don't use the uh, masculine pre-nouns. They have another name in English. Uh, we use the, we use no pre-nouns, and so it assumes a sort of genderless, sort of neuter form. And it happens to a lot of things. For example, Porto is masculine, uh, and Gaia is not, is neuter. So it's like, it's all, the, the, there are no rules for it. It's just the, how, the way people talk. And even Portuguese people will say uh, different things um, or we're, we'll treat different places in, with different ways, which is kind of awkward. Uh, but yeah, the, the Portuguese basically is very gendered, is what I'm saying. So yeah, Bragansano is specifically for male, uh, masculine rather, not male, for uh, masculine things. It's not even people. It's just things in general. A table, feminine. A chair, feminine as well. A carpet, masculine. 
Uh, anyway, we have a Luis Davalos. And art is an inspiration. Let's sponsor this inspiration for 50. Absolutely. Let's do that. Because uh, that's what the money's for. How much am I gaining? 14.6. We're actually getting more than we were before. Which makes sense because we have more stuff. Neighboring ruler lost the war. Navarra. For a clash for the kingdom of Navarra. With Duke Guillermo. What exactly did you win? Vizcaya? I don't know. Maybe it was a white piece. I could see that happening. I could lawfully imprison him, but the problem is he doesn't want that. He doesn't want that. Uh, maybe I should befriend him. Let's do that. Uh, and I can usurp the kingdom of Navarra if I want to. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, because he's being... Oh, that's what it is. That bit. He took that. He's now a vassal of two people. Is that true? No, it can't be. I kind of want to usurp the kingdom, but it takes a lot of money, doesn't it? Yeah, 500 gold, which is not that much. But if I had more crosses, I would uh, ask the head of gold for faith, and I would just get the crosses and get the kingdom. I don't want to get that though because then uh, it, i would be two kings and it, it's a it's a problem what happened here uh marriage finally oh man dude you're you're old but uh yeah she's my daughter i'm pretty sure yeah i love her yeah yeah so she's my daughter so now she hopefully will bear children that are amazing I'm not sure what's going on here with the kingdom. Request funds. My beneficiary, Luis, insists that the funds I've supplied to him are not enough to create an artifact worthy of my thing. Uh, whatever you need, I suppose. Uh, as long as you're not drunk. So I'm in debt now, which is a bit of a problem, but it's only going to last for a month. Hook expiring soon. Uh, that doesn't matter. It's all right. Just get me out of debt, please. There we go. Cadastra completed. My steward bows briefly before me and explains with a satisfied smile, My lord, you might remember that some months ago you invested a large sum of gold into a cadastra of your countries or counties. I have uh, personally supervised the matter and can proudly say the job is done. We have cro crowns for that and development progress increased by 35 on every held county. Told you. I didn't tell you that it was going to be good, but m m I told you. I was going to tell you. I didn't. I, I wasn't going to tell you. But the point is, I chose that knowing that it would probably affect our development. Speaking of which, we're at 17 and 11. So obviously we're developing more up here. I'm not sure why you would choose one over the other, but I'm going to max out that area, basically. So five years until we have a, a new innovation. And the name to remember, my beneficiary Louise approaches me with a thoughtful expression. Is there anyone special to you, my lord? Oh, so many people. So many people. So many. But uh, I probably shouldn't do that because uh, it's bad. Yeah, there's no need for dedication. You're, you're good. We don't need that. Child of Mine Dynasty. Oh, inbred. That didn't turn out good. She is the daughter of my daughter and my knight. That's just how it is. Inbred. So inbred is minus to a lot of things and a severe health penalty. Uh, Beatrice. Sure. May grow strong and wise and uh, educate child. Uh, let's see. My wife. Do that. Uh, and uh, also, let me pin you, because I need to remember that I need to send you to... I don't know. I don't know what I need to send you to, but um, it's bad. The genius the genius kind of offsets the inbred. I don't know, because I, I don't know if the sons or 
the children of inbred people will also be inbred. It makes sense, because that's how it is, but anyway. By God, men, leave me alone. The peaceful atmosphere is shattered by Luigi yelling as he storms into the courtyard. Umar quickly follows, but stops when he sees me. My liege, please talk some sense, sense into Luigi. I'm trying to help him. I have some... Since I have some experience, then it may improve his work. What are you? You're terrible at this, dude. What, you, what experience do you have? Let's see. 50%, 53... Come at least hear him out. Convince Luis to listen to Umar. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, Slyer. Yeah, it worked out. It worked out. We we lucked out on that. So basically, the bet there is that they become rivals. Instead of uh, the artifact being bad. Which uh, it wasn't. Your hook on this guy is expired. Totally fine. And I'm now befri befriending my cousin, I think. My efforts to get closer... No, actually, this is just a... Uh, I gain stress, though. No. Shall not be gaining stress. It's a mid midterm kind of thing. And we have... Let's see. Learning level per level of devotion. I actually don't know what my level of devotion is. Devoted servant. I think I am about to become a paragon of virtue as well. Uh, inspiration realized. That's really nice. Pedagogy over here. Homesteads constructed in Porto. And uh, let's see. What do we have over here? My lord! My beneficiary, Luigi, gestures to me. Give me gives me a thing. And uh, I open. It's the King Gomez's Ornamental Coffre. And uh, it's Court Grandeur bonus. This is lovely. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's see what do we have over here. Because I have Court Artifacts. I put the Coffres over here. Lovely. Lovely. It's all beautiful. What's my court grandeur like? Not very good. This is not very good. I wonder what happens at level 9. Imprisoned chance plus 10%. Hmm. Uh, offer guardsmanship acceptance for vassals. M monthly renown. Monthly renown? Renown? It's English is difficult. I am known for my dedication to faith. And asking always a lot of money of my faith leader. After learning that Duke Guillermo would be attempting the dance, uh, what a good day. Let's go. And the this ends the scheme. Oh, we befriended Duke Guillermo. <laughs> Look at that. Your cousin, brother-in-law, and Marshall. And uh, plus plus two things, because also friend and vassal. I've ga You gained a new friend. Wait. Wait a minute. Where does that come from? How did I gain crosses because I gained friends? I am curious. I am indeed curious about a lot of things. Hey, uh, so I can't declare war against you. Should I just ask for money? I think I should. There's really no reason not to. It's just the money, the amount of money is just going to keep going up. And this is this is these guys. I think they I'm at war with them because they raided me and I I killed their army. Maybe. I don't know. Who are they? It's the Denlaw. Danelaw? Daniel. Aw. Yeah. Uh either way, moving on. It's still a big concern, this guy. To the modest King Gomes of Portugal. Port Portugal, rather, I have considered your plight and decided to give you a bunch of money. Thank you very much, Pope. You are the dude, the bro, the Righteous. Uh, he loves me very much. Why do you love me so? Because I founded a holy order. Yes, that would do that. Also, my court grandeur is literally above expected level. Which means that if I if my country is very big, then the court grandeur stops making as much of a difference. That is really interesting. It does cost a bunch of money, let's be frank. I'm spending like three gold a month. But, you know, it's good. If I'm going to get crosses for every friend that I have, why don't I make friends with everybody? Or does it have to be friends outside of my family? Like this guy, for example. Befriend you. 83%. Can do. I will be friends with everybody and get money for it. Because that's how it works. We have mercenary company contract expiring. We don't talk about that. It is bad times. Just bad times. Ooh, look at that. A thing that we can upgrade. This is great news. And uh, gain stress level. 
Why was that? Oh, because my lover has died. That is a bit of a problem. Don't worry, I'm reclusive. It's very easy to lose stress. All I have to do is people have asked me out for a date and I'm saying, no, thank you. That is very easy. It's very easy. Uh, befriend, oh, it's the befriend plot. What do we have over here? When I rarely, or while I rarely mention it, I have a few achievements which I am proud of. I'm convinced King Alfonso, with a T, has also accomplished a thing or two which fill him with pride. A thing or two fill him with pride. Also, it shouldn't be which, it should be that. Because those two are different words in English, and they mean different things, although they are often in badly positioned. Anyway, perhaps I should commission a small poem. Yes, perhaps I should. I do gain crowns, which I don't need, honestly. I have so many crowns, I don't know what to do with them. Which is a, a normal situation. I, it's mostly my fault, because I didn't plan for the fact that I was going to have so many crowns. Uh, befriend, befriend gains focus on Alfonso's accomplishments. Also, admired feats. Monthly prestige. Prestigious image. Scheme power. Nah, let's just focus on his accomplishments and keep keep at it. And everything is fine up there. 